Thank you for being with us this evening and uh, in this special show as we mark National Voters Day today. It is a crucial year for the entire country. In the build-up to the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, your vote will decide the future course of our country for the coming five years. And to be able to do this, it is as crucial, if you haven't yet, to register yourself to vote. Because remember, every vote counts. We're going to be keeping our phone lines open so that you can call in, uh, given queries with respect to, uh, if at all, there are difficulties or information that you need on what, how one goes about to register yourself as a voter. Please call us up on those phone lines that we're going to flash in the bottom of our screens. And our experts will be answering your question. Before we move ahead, a quick reminder that uh, the website here that you need to log in for is uh, www.nvsp.in. You will be asked to fill in one particular Form 6 to register yourself. We're going to be getting in further inputs. Uh, we have with us uh, our expert for this evening, Mr. S.K. Mendiratta, who is the former legal advisor to the Election Commission. We also have our correspondent Ayushman getting us further inputs uh, on how the National Voters Day is being marked. Remember, this is uh, the ninth National Voters Day, which is being marked today across the country. It is a celebration that started in the year 2011. Our correspondent Ayushman getting us further inputs here on this. Uh, uh, Ayushman, uh, have, uh, have we further been informed with respect to specific uh, voters' woes that they have faced that the election commission should be taken into consideration. Well, the election commission today celebrated the National Voters Day. This was the ninth National Voter Day, and al along with uh, the National uh, Election Commission in Delhi, in the national capital, this day was celebrated across India on six lakh uh, uh, election commission uh, uh, offices and several other places. The election commission has made it clear the motto is no voter has to be left behind. And uh, for this, the election commission has done every possible thing that can be done, be it the use of social media or be it the use of the foot force that is there, uh, including the BLOs and all, they have all been sensitized and they have been told to go to each of the homes and ensure that there is a 100% of enrollment for the voter ID cards. At the same time, we get to know about the uh, about what happened in Telangana where uh, several people, like uh, the numbers were there in 10 lakh, uh, where people uh, said their names were removed. Mm -hmm. So Election Commission is taking a cue from the past and this time they have said that they've also, they have also tagged with Facebook. Uh, remember, India has got 200 million users on Facebook and this time, for the, for, for the second time, in fact, Facebook would be sending notifications to all the users to get themselves registered on the uh, 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 sweep okay. and NSVP so that uh, they can attain a good number of electoral participation. That's right. Uh, stay on with us. Uh, getting in a word here uh, from our expert with us on our panel this evening, Mr. S.K. Mendiratta. Appreciate you being with us. Uh, uh, to what extent do you think marking this day as a celebration is going to... Uh, uh, not just sensitize voters, but also inform them, give them crucial information on what needs to be done to be registered as a voter. Our every effort is to reach every voter in the country. And uh, this yes. NSVP and today's uh, this celebration is a, is a d step in that direction. So we want, the motto of the election commission is that no voter to be left behind. And the second voter, uh, motto is that every vote counts. So we not merely say that the voters, eligible voters should get themselves registered, but we also want them mm -hmm. to come and vote in their constituencies, in their polling stations, which we have provided very near to their houses. So that is the right. consistent and constant effort of the election commission. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, we hope that if the Facebook and other this uh, uh, and particularly other NGOs etc. they assist, we can we can definitely improve the voting uh, percentages in this election. All right, so you, you, you're looking in with, uh, with respect to and, assistance uh, by private players here on this and, as well. 
Uh, please stay on with us. Getting in uh, voice of senior journalist Mr. R. Rajgopalan with us on the phone line as well. Uh, Mr. Rajgopalan, in your view, to, to, to what extent this is going to help spread the information, this being a very crucial year, the 2019 Lok Sabha elections to be taking place in a couple of months from now, uh, to what extent this would also help address voters' grievances, many whose names, despite being registered, have not figured in the voting list? Okay, uh, we seem to have lost that line. We're going across uh, to our other expert right now. We have uh, Mr. Naveen Chavla, former Chief Election Commissioner with us as well. Appreciate you being with us, sir, Mr. Chavla. Uh, same question perhaps if I could ask you as well. Uh, to what extent this is going to help uh, in taking into account several voters' grievances that are already in the public domain? For example, despite being registered, your name not figuring on the voting list on the day of voting. Uh, the, uh, the, the, thank you for asking me. Uh, I am aware that the Election Commission uh, has uh, put uh, uh, mechanisms into place in all the states and the Union territories through their chief electoral officers in order to take on board all the names that are not on the voting list as of now. Uh, I think that I've also seen their mm -hmm. notice that all uh, the people should check their names on the latest voting list to make sure that even if they were there for a previous election, are they there now? Because the voting lists are always revised in January of every year. So this revision is very, very critical. But I do need to add one thing, that the law as it stands right. is that uh, the, a person has to be ordinarily resident for six months in a particular place. Now the problem is really with many of our students who may be registered in their towns and villages and hometowns, but may be studying in some other part of India. And if they're not ordinarily resident um, where they're studying, where they have to be for six months, then inescapably they have to go back to their uh, cities or hometowns or villages in order to be able to cast the vote. Right. Uh, and uh, Mr. Chawla, we really appreciate you specifically mentioning that because uh, this is part of the Times Network campaign as well. We are calling it lost votes for those who have shifted towns, are not available, are not living in their hometowns uh, between a duration of six months or more. On how to take that into account, uh, do, you, do you feel that the, chief, the, the, the election commission is taking that into account because there are millions of votes that are lost because of this process of shifting base, shifting towns? Yes, uh, and sometimes, you know, votes are also lost because, uh, say, in large cities like Delhi or Mumbai or Bangalore, um, uh, people uh, shift addresses and shift jobs within the same city and then, uh, and then don't uh, uh, or fail perhaps to mention to the electoral authorities that they shifted from A to B to C in the same city. Uh, it is a great problem. Uh, right. Now, uh, but there, there is another thing, um, there is another related issue, if I may raise that, which is uh, that uh, the mm -hmm. constant refrain is, can EVMs be hacked? You know, I was on uh, television three days ago because there was a so-called um, hackathon in London, uh, not on an election commission right. machine. Uh, and I have a chapter in my new book, Every Vote Counts, on the very issue of the EVM. Now, because the EVM is not linked by wire or by wireless and is not linked to any computer system, is also the reason for the safety of the EVM. It's like a pocket calculator, it's like right. an adding machine. It's not, mm -hmm. it cannot be hacked by any other system. But, the, but when okay. that day comes, and, and it is important that it comes one day, that people are able to vote from wherever they are, not necessarily by postal ballot, by, but by, by pressing a button, is also the day when the EVM as it stands today may be in jeopardy. So uh, there is a balance that has to be retained okay. and, uh, between the inviability right. and, and of and that the is of EVM, course a concern uh, with not being on a computer right. system only if the evms become wireless right uh, please stay on with us uh, we have to take in our viewers calling in as well our caller naveen from new delhi please go ahead uh, sir hello hello yes please go ahead 
हेलो एक्चुअली आई गॉट माय डॉटर वोटर कार्ड रजिस्ट्रेशन डन ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट अक्टूबर टू एंड द रजिस्ट्रेशन नंबर इज एप्लीकेशन नंबर इज ओ ओ फॉर ऑरेंज एफ फॉर फरीदाबाद के फॉर कानपुर टू वन एट वन ट्रिपल थ्री एट टू okay i am getting the registration all right but uh, what is what is the problem that you are facing i am not getting the registration done uh, and facing that the, uh, the status uh, when i am checking the application status i am uh, getting the reply that dl appointed and it is more than one year and i, I have yet to receive the card from uh, verification done from your side, side. from the voter okay side. so 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 this is this is a a a common uh, problem that people would be facing uh, mr mendi reta if you heard that query here uh, would you able to be uh, ans- uh, could you answer on how to go about this the registration having been done you've been given in a registration number as well but you still haven't got your voter card no I, first i would like to make a small clarification about what Mr Chawla has said now he has said that a voter has to be ordinarily resident at some place for 6 months that was a very earlier requirement now under the law there is no such requirement okay. you can you can just go to the ERO without any minimum uh, qualification for ordinary residence because you may change your residence right. at any time and then you can have your name registered in the new electoral roll at any time there is no minimum uh, stay requirement right. then as the okay, other we, we appreciate persons, that what uh, what about the specific that, query that yeah that grievance yeah that is what i am now answering see our system provides that constant movement of the application can be traced from the nsvp but in case there is some problem he can right to the election commission and uh, first of all i would say that all electoral rolls have now been recently published finally in uh, the month of this january itself first let him check whether his his daughter's name has come in the new roll or not in case that name has not come then i would suggest that let him mm-hmm. put another application of course that will be slightly Uh, embarrassing for us also but let him put immediately another application in form 6 on the website it okay. online itself and then uh, he can write to the election commission also saying that this is the uh, right. fate of his earlier application i am sure the election commission will look into All that right. problem and this would hopefully also avoid uh, any duplication as well stay with us please more viewers calling in joseph from mumbai please go ahead Why you are making me stand on the queue? Sorry. Hello. Yes, please go ahead, Joseph. Why? What do you want me to do from me? I'm afraid we're not being able to understand uh, that query coming in from our caller. Our next caller, Aftab Ahmed from Bengaluru. Please go ahead. Okay, we seem to have lost that line. Uh, in 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 some of these queries, of course, here that have come in, uh, Mr. Navin Chawla, uh, there there would be a, a concern here also with respect to duplication on what Mr. S K Mandiratta just said of uh, one particular person who called us up having registered already in October 27 uh, and 2017 and still not having received a voter's card to be applying to the website again. Are there fears of duplication then? <clears throat> and that booth level yeah. officer as it were owns uh, the number of voters in that polling station whether it's 900 or 1000 or 1100 uh, so that booth level officer uh, is supposed to go from door to door uh, and verify uh, removing removing all the people who have moved out removing the names of those who may have passed away and also adding the names of those who are eligible turn 18 uh, from the 1st of january of this year 
So the, the booth level officer is, is a mechanism that we put in place to become to come much closer okay. to the voter. So if in the case of any individual viewer who is watching the program, uh, I think the thing to do is to immediately get in touch uh, with the representative of the election commission so that the concerned BLO can come uh, to that house and deliver the card or, or inform the, the, the complainant the, uh, the, uh, the complainant uh, of where the card can be picked up from. And that should be done very soon because uh, there isn't that much time left. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. S.K. Menderata, we're also wanting to know to what extent uh, this celebration of a National Voters Day really helped the people. Today, of course, we've had a function uh, having been uh, honored by the President of India, several workers uh, and officials of the Election Commission having been awarded for the work that they've done. But are specific queries of people being taken up, like uh, to, 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 the, to the exact nature of what we are discussing today on our show here? How does this help the voter in just marking a National Voters' Day? No, see... <clears throat> National Voters Day is only a reminder. Just to tell you that a very important event is now coming up. You have to uh, take care. All those conscious voters, they must check up in the, whether their names are there in the final published electoral roll. And it's also an invitation to them that you please come, exercise your right to vote, which is a very valuable right, so that tomorrow uh, you have a effective say in the election of your representative who will form the government. So the idea is to give publicity and this function is not being arranged only in Delhi at a central place. It is being arranged at all the polling That's stations right. in the country. So if 10 lakh uh, mm -hmm. election uh, po polling stations are there, normally we are expecting about 7 to 8 lakh celebrations being done today. And that will definitely a, a step in the direction, okay. right direction, to teach the members. All right, and, and spread the word. Sensitization is what we're looking at. Uh, our next caller, uh, Mr. Arun Kumar from Jamshedpur. Arun Kumar, if my voice is going through, please go ahead. Hello. Yes? Yeah, my question is... Arun Kumar from Jamshedpur. Arun Kumar, if my voice is going through, please go ahead. Yeah, my question is, uh, how shall I know that my name is in the current list? Okay, this is uh, perhaps uh, would require to for you to go on to the website NSVP. Mr. Naveen Chawla, if you could answer that, please. Uh, specifically wanting to cross-check if the records have been updated and older names have not been lost. W would it mean going directly to the website in a, for a particular zone to be checking your name there? Yes, they should go onto the website uh, first, uh, you know, for that particular city, uh, certainly in that state, and uh, through, uh, and if necessary, then uh, first checking up whether the name is there, because the website has already been uploaded. And all the names that are supposed to be current for the 1st of January, including the 18-year-olds, are supposed to be there. So you're absolutely right. The first step is please go onto the website and check. Mr. Naveen Chawla, Mr. S.K. Mendiratha, our correspondent Ayushman and all our viewers who've called in with their specific queries here on this. Appreciate uh, you sharing your views, uh, voters' grievances on a significant day today being National Voters' Day is when we've discussed this. Thanks for being with us.